Thanks, man. That was a great way to close right, it nice, off. Very nice. Way, great way Give it up one more time for Andres. All right, next up we got a current student. He's graduating this semester, uh, Esteban de la uh, de Cruz. Uh, he grew up in Mexico, a small town in Mexico. Uh, moved to the U.S. in 1999, uh, working in working restaurants, factories. Uh, he moved to the Chicago area in 2003. Um, he's an existentialist, self-identified existentialist socialist. Um, he actually got his GED here at Harper. Um, and recently completed his Associates in Arts um, and will be transferring to Northeastern in the fall, uh, hoping eventually to get his doctorate, his PhD in philosophy, to teach philosophy at the college level. Um, so he's going to read for me a little, uh, you know, a little bit about the story and uh, about me. So give it up for Esteban. Thank you. Video? Yeah. That was cool. Okay. Um, are you still at ISU? Or are you kind of? Okay, so I wrote this piece. Uh, it is about the undocumented workers here in the United States. The title is The Republic of Night and Shadows. I think it's time to recognize the undocumented workers in the United States of America. The undocumented workers became fear the very moment their oppressor stopped hiding in the shadows and showed his face to the public. As a powerful police force, the New Republic, the Republic of the Nationalists, want to arrest and all undocumented workers and deport them in masses as political prisoners, as Jews during the Nazi regime. The idea all undocumented workers don't have rights is horrifying. This new regime, the nationalists, wants to take away all of their rights, beginning with the right to speak. Because of all of this, the undocumented workers became free. Because of the cruelty of the oppressor, the undocumented workers began asking this question. What does it mean to be politically active? For decades, the philosophy of the undocumented workers was to work hard and maintain a very low profile in order to keep their family a better life. This is achieved only through praxis. In other words, the undocumented workers as a group is not a political force. The undocumented workers are simply workers, labor force. They live each day to the fullest because they know that the ghost of deportation is real. The ghost of deportation, which in happier times, the undocumented workers are fully forget, now is the object of their concern. The wall, once forgiven, now is a reminder the oppressor wants to put in front of their faces. The insipid face, the undocumented workers watch on TV every night, telling them that they are different and they need to go back home. The undocumented workers experience deportation as if, as if they are exiled because the United States is their home too. The undocumented workers have to embrace freedom and fight their inferiority complex. By doing this, the undocumented workers accept their, their responsibility that they were victims of historical events that forced them to immigrate to the United States. They are victims of the United States foreign policy. Work is the main concern of the undocumented workers, while on the other hand, the main concern of the nationalists is to bring back the old republic, the republic of night and shadows. Thank you. Esteban de la Cruz.